Hey, it's me, Marie. I'm wearing Mickey Mouse socks. Let's make a video. If you know me, you know I like theater and that I have a lot of playbills. So I thought today we could go through my playbill collection. Roughly, my favorite musicals are going to be towards the end. So, we're gonna start with the ones I have in this box, and then we're gonna go to the ones that usually hang on my wall, and that'll be it. So I have been to a good number of musicals, but not all of these are from musicals I've been to because I have some friends in New York and other friends who go see musicals and they will give me playbills because they know I collect them. And there's a few that I've bought online because I wanted certain casts. So there's a variety here of what I've seen, what I've seen live, and what I haven't seen. Fiddler on the Roof, haven't seen it. I mean, I've seen like the movie, but not this one. Um, a friend gave me this one. So I'm not even entirely sure what the show is. It's called Transfers and it's at the MCC Theater, which is I know a theater that um, one of my friends owns, but I'm not exactly sure what this show is, but I think it's really cool to have something from um, that theater. So Carousel, I wish I'd seen. <laughs> This is the one with Jesse Mueller and Joshua Henry. I think this was 2016 or 2017? 2018. That's how much I know. Amazing Grace. Never seen it, but this is from uh, July 2015. So, got that one. Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark. I don't even genuinely know what this show is about. I just remember people talking about it and being like, that exists. My Fair Lady from April 2018. So this is the one that won uh, the Tony Award for Best Costume. But that's all I know about it, basically, and that it's My Fair Lady, and uh, people like it, I guess. If there's musicals of playbills that I have, and I say, I don't know this one, and it's good, let me know. Comment down below and be like, um, what do you mean you don't know that? Fake theater fan. Come from away. So this is a really good show. I haven't seen a lot from it, but I've heard a couple songs and um, it sounds really good. So yeah, that's a good show. If you don't know it, look at it. Warpaint. This, I think, won some Tonys in 2017. From March 2017. And of course, it's uh, Patti Lapone, Queen. A friend gave that to me also. Groundhog Day, don't know it. Just know the Tony performance friend gave this to me. It's Aida Playbill? Is that how you say it? From November 2000. So I don't even know what's going on here. I got this from a friend. Um, oh, it's got Adam Pascal in it. So that's cool. Once. So this is August 2012. I don't know the people in this, but I've heard it's good. <laughs> this, is so, this is so bad. I have all these playbills and I'm like, yeah, that's, uh, that's a show. I don't know. I promise I'm a real theater fan. Like, we'll get into the ones I know, but right now I just sound like a fake fan. <sighs> Hello, Dolly. This is from 2017. Bette Midler, of course. We all know that because of the Tonys. Didn't see that one either. I mean, just the Tony performance. So this is a Chicago from August 2017. I haven't seen this particular Chicago, but I've seen Chicago before. Cats. So obviously I know Cats, because it's Cats. I didn't see this one in August 2017, but I've seen bits and pieces of Cats. It's Cats. So we're getting more into shows I've seen, I think, but I think they're a little bit mixed in. I saw the play that goes wrong in June 2017. It was good for what it is, but my problem was there were just a lot of jokes that kept happening over and over that were only funny the first time, if that. I've got some of these now um, in just comic book covers because these are ones that are kind of, they mean a little bit more to me, even if I haven't seen the shows. I have not seen Beautiful, but um, my friend Kate gave me this signed playbill. Here's another one from um, MCC Theater. It's called The End of Longing. Also, don't really know what this one is about, but it has Matthew Perry in it. Ooh, hello, Sean. He was Chandler and Friends, for those of you who know Friends, which is everyone. Gentleman's Guide. This one came from my friend Kate, I believe, um, who also gave me the beautiful signed playbill. I don't know the show, but I should. 
I really should. Motown. I didn't see this Motown specifically, but I did see it when it came to Miller Auditorium. Um, but they don't do playbills there. They just do programs that are like, Miller. I'm like, that. I don't want that in my collection. So a friend gave me this one, because I was like, oh, I've seen it, technically. So this is Bandstand with uh, Laura Osnes and Corey Tott. And I believe that's Laura's signature. But again, a friend gave this to me and I don't exactly remember who signed it, but if anyone can confirm, I don't know Laura or Corey's signatures. An American in Paris, haven't seen it, got it from a friend. I'm not really sure what it's about. Anastasia, this is such a good show. I love the costumes. Um, this one is from, I'm not exactly sure the year, but like right around when it came out. And I think I also have one in color. Here are three of my unsigned Hamiltons, and they're all from different casts. And one of these is New York with Lynn, one of these is New York with Javier, and then one of them is Chicago. Didn't see this one, not exactly sure what cast, but um, it's Les Mis. You know, everyone knows Les Mis. Les Mis is good. The color purple. So I wish I knew this show more. That's on me, but um, Good show, good songs, Cynthia Rebo. Sister Act, I did see this one. This is the playbill from when I saw it in Chicago in the round, which was super cool. Um, I don't know of any big names that were in that one, but it was really good. Wicked. Okay, secret time. I've never seen Wicked. I am one of the biggest theater nerds I know, and I've never seen Wicked. I've heard the songs. I like generally know the story, never seen it. But this is a uh, original playbill with uh, Cr Kristen Chenoweth and Anita Menzel, so someone gave that to me. In the Heights, I haven't seen this like on Broadway, but my school did this a couple years back. Love this show, so good. So this playbill uh, was from a friend and it's the original with Lin-Manuel and everything, so. The original Adams Family with Nathan Lane. And also um, Bibi Nurith from Chicago is in this, I believe. Yeah, so a friend gave this to me too. I was shook because Adam's family. Once on this island, good show. If you don't know it, look it up. Beautiful, amazing. Haven't seen it, wish I had. Hedwig with Darren Chris. So that was Book of Mormon from Chicago. Didn't see that, but I did see it when it came here and that kind of sparked um, my Broadway. I'm gonna put these back in the box and then we're gonna do my top playbills, which are the ones I keep on my wall here and in my dorm room at college. So I actually know about those and can talk about those a little more. Waitress from Chicago. I did see this and it was amazing. Great comment, didn't see it. This was a gift from a friend, but um, I've seen bits of it, love it, good show. Frozen. This one actually is signed by a lot of the cast members. I believe Casey Levy signed this as did Patty Murin and um, Hans, and a couple of other people. I didn't see this, but my friend Mitchell did. Miss Saigon, I did see Miss Saigon in New York, June 2017, amazing show. It's got a couple of signatures on here. Lion King, didn't see it in New York, but I saw it when it traveled here. So good, this was a gift from Kate again. Aladdin, I saw Aladdin in Chicago, and it was so, so good. And um, I have most of the signatures of the cast, I believe. Um, Genie, Aladdin, um, Jafar came out, and Jasmine as well. Isabel something, I don't remember her last name, but I do know she went to U of M. She recognized we had like a, an M on our phone case or something. She was like, U of M, I went there. And I was like, you're on Broadway. Ah! This is the Hamilton from Chicago that I got signed. And um, one of the signatures, I don't remember. It was um, an ensemble member. She was beautiful and amazing. But the other signature is Candace Quarles, who was actually Peggy and Mariah that day. And when Book of Mormon came here, she was Nabalunki. So she's amazing. If you don't know her, look her up. Candace Quarles. Didn't see Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Tried really hard to go see it. Didn't get the chance. Um, I know the show didn't do so well, but I love Christian Borel. So, gotta represent. <sighs> Wish I saw Newsies. Really did. Um, 
This is the Playbo with Cory Cott. A friend gave it to me. But I do own and have seen the recording. Dear Evan Hansen, I saw this in New York on Broadway with the original cast. So I saw Ben Platt and he was amazing. And I cried for like two hours after the show. I just kind of sat there and bawled. I was like, Dear Evan Hansen, Book of Mormon. So this is the uh, June 2017. So this is Nick Rillo. And I don't remember who was playing Cunningham at that point, but I didn't see this one, but I've seen Book of Mormon. So I went in there and I was like, oh, can I have a playbill? And they were like, yeah, sure. So they gave me a playbill. So now I have a Book of Mormon pride bill. Hedwig with Andrew Reynolds. I've seen videos of this show and I bought this one online because I really, really wanted a Hedwig with Andrew Reynolds playbill. If you don't know, Andrew Reynolds is my absolute favorite actor ever. So I had to get that. Here's a falsettos that I got online because I love falsettos. This show is so good, by the way. I saw the recording of it, um, listened to the soundtrack a million times, follow all the cast. It actually has um, Andrew Reynolds, who was in The Hedwig, and he was originally Elder Price on Broadway. So like the original, original Elder Price. And I don't have one of those playbills, because they're really, really expensive online for some reason, so, which I did though. And um, Christian Borle, ooh, hello, Christian Borle, who was in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory as well. Kinky Boots, this was my first ever Broadway show, technically. Um, I had seen like community theater and high school shows as a kid, but this was Broadway in Chicago. My friend um, helped take my family to go see it, and I was, blown away and I was like yeah I I want to do something on Broadway someday so so good love kinky boots I've seen it twice now never in New York though but um the casts I've seen were just amazing I have Matilda um in Chicago I went to see this the same time I went to see Sister Act and it was so good I don't remember exactly who was in it, don't remember, but great show. From Mitchell, this is a signed Mean Girls playbill with the original cast. I love it. I'm so glad I own this. And also it's uh, one of the new Pride Bills. So I've got a couple of those from this past year. I don't know, what do you guys think of it? So I don't hate it. Um, I don't like it though. And I think the issue I have with these is that the blue looks like too light, it looks like turquoise, and the purple looks like pink. I think if they kept the same blue and purple, I don't mind the gradient, but um, I have an issue with the colors. Little tangent there, but I have opinions on the new Pride Bill colors, so. SpongeBob! Okay, I love this show. Got to see it in New York last year. It was amazing. Um, Ethan Slater wasn't there. I saw it the week he was on vacation, but Lily Cooper was there. Danny Skinner and uh, Gavin Lee, and they signed this for me. I got to see Tootsie in Chicago with Lily Cooper and Santino Fontana. And if you don't know who they are, Lily Cooper was Sandy in SpongeBob. And then she was uh, Julie in Tootsie. And Santino Fontana was the original Prince in Cinderella on Broadway, and he was also Hans in the Frozen movie. He's amazing. I love him. I love Lily, Lily Cooper. They were just so, so good. And this show is so funny. It's so good. I can't wait for the soundtrack to come out because I just want to listen to the songs on repeat over and over. So I got some signatures. Boys in the Band. This is probably my favorite play ever. This was such an experience. So I saw this in 2018. The cast was, first of all, so good. Um, Jim Parsons, Matt Bomber, Zachary Quinto, Andrew Reynolds. So of course I had to go see it. Um, and I did get most of their signatures. The only signatures I didn't get were uh, Jim Parsons and Zachary Quinto because Jim Parsons doesn't come out to the stage door and Zachary Quinto had to go somewhere. So, but everyone else came out. Andrew Reynolds signed it. It's the one right up here, of course. My favorite playbill that I have is my falsettos signed by Andrew Reynolds. 
Again, I didn't get to go see Falsettos when it was running. It was a short run. I went to New York right after they closed. It was so sad. But um, I brought this with me when I went to go see Boys in the Band this year. And so I had Andrew sign this one. And um, this is probably my favorite playbill ever because this is my favorite musical. And now I have the signature of my favorite actor. <laughs> and those are all my playbills. Let me know in the comments like what your guys' favorite musicals are or if you have playbills or what your favorite playbills are. If you liked seeing all my playbills, please also let me know. So thanks for watching. Bye!